Good day, everyone. I am Tang Suyuan from 6AK1. Today, I will be talking about mental health disorder, which also called as mental illness. Mental health disorders are health conditions involving changes in emotion, thinking, or behaviors, or a combination of this. Mental health disorders are associated with distress or problems functioning in social work or family activities. Examples of mental disorders include depression, anxiety disorder, eating disorder, and addictive behaviors. Examples of signs and symptoms include feeling sad, feeling sad or down all the time, excessive fears or worries, or extreme feelings of guilt, extreme mood changes of highs and lows, suicidal thinking, and so on. Sometimes symptoms of a mental health disorder appear as physical problems such as stomach pain, back pain, headache, or other unexplained pain. Mental health disorders are common nowadays. In the research, about 1 in 24 has a serious mental illness. Also, mental health conditions are treatable and improvement is possible. In most cases, symptoms can be managed with a combination of medication and talk therapy, also called as psychotherapy. Many people with mental health conditions return to full functioning in their daily lives. Most people who have a mental health disorder do not want to talk about it, but mental disorder is nothing to be ashamed of. It is a medical condition, just like heart disease on diabetes. Mental disorder does not discriminate. It can affect anyone regardless of your age, gender, geography, income, social status, race, religion, sexual orientation, background, or other aspect of cultural identity. The diagnosis of a mental disorder is not the same as a need for treatment. Need for treatment takes into consideration how severe the symptoms are, how much symptoms cause distress and affect daily living, the risks and benefits of available treatments, and other factors. Self-help and support can be very important to an individual's coping, recovery, and well-being. Lifestyle changes such as good nutrition, exercise, and sufficient sleep can support mental health and recovery. In short, it is nothing to be ashamed of to talk about mental health disorder. Some more primary care clinicians, psychiatrists, and other mental health clinicians could help individuals and families to understand about mental disorder and what they can do to control or cope with symptoms to improve patients' health, wellness, and function. That's all from me. Thank you.